We just got done recording eight reasons to retire early. This is fun because what this episode did was it married the feelings that you have about retirement and the numbers, because sometimes it's the numbers that can be the biggest barrier for people. So let's first talk about retirement in general. The average age of retirement has changed over the years in the United States. I was looking at a Yahoo Finance article, and here's what I found. The average retirement age in the United States has changed over the years. In 1986, men typically retired at age 62, and women at about age 57. Then by 2016, the ages increased to approximately 65 for men and 63 for women. So let's go to 2024. The average age of retirement from in the US right now is right around 64. But the takeaway is that people expected to retire at 66. So men are working till about 65, women 63, but they expected to work longer. So they're retiring earlier. Why? Well, there's a whole host of reasons. A lot of people are retiring earlier, we've learned, because of family situations. They're becoming a caregiver for their parents or maybe a caregiver for their spouses. So we know that whether it's because you want to retire earlier or there are forces uh, outside of your control that are, that are making you retire earlier, you have to be prepared for that retirement. So let's talk about the feelings part of this because this is the fun stuff. So we talked about eight reasons to retire early. We got into the, you want to live a healthier lifestyle, your, your body's wearing out, maybe you're in a manual labor job. Um, I read an article and here's what the, the author of the article said. They were recently at a lake over the weekend and they met a guy who was 65 years old learning to ride a jet ski for the first time in his life. They were talking to this, this man and he mentioned that he had always wanted to learn but decided to postpone it until retirement. Now he wishes that he had retired earlier. This is a story that our uh, retirement planners hear a lot of times. People come in and maybe they're age 57 and they say, I don't know if I want to work till 65. They've got 65 in their mind because that's Medicare eligibility and they think that that's the age that they need to get to, but they talk to the retirement planners and say, but I'm ready to, to seize the go-go years. Lauren and Clint and Sean talk about the, the three phases of retirement. The go-go years, that first phase, uh, when you, you have a lot of energy, you want to go see all the things that you didn't get to see during the working years, explore all the things that you didn't get to explore. And then that second phase, the slow-go years, when maybe you've done the things you wanted to do, so you slow down a little bit, uh, maybe even spend a little bit less money. And then that third phase of retirement that our retirement planners talk to people about are the no-go years. That's when maybe you're spending more time on health care, your body has slowed down, so that's when uh, you're spending changes. You're not spending it on the fun stuff. So let's go back to the go-go years because that, I, to me, is a great reason to retire early. So let's say you're thinking about it. Let's say right now you're thinking, oh, I, I want to seize those go-go years. Maybe it's not a jet ski for you, but maybe it's an RV. Maybe it's uh, spending more time with grandkids. I'm sure you have a vision of what those first few years of retirement could look like. So those are the feelings. But remember, I talked about the feelings and the numbers. So it's the numbers that sometimes can make us go, can I do it though? Can I afford to retire early? So maybe start reading something online about this. Well, about halfway into these articles, I read several of them in preparation for today's show, you find a retirement calculator. Who doesn't love a calculator? You type in the numbers, you get an output, and boom, you're on your way. So, so I challenge you to, to check out one of these retirement calculators. Lauren did just that in today's episode. So he put some numbers in age 57 and then he put some income numbers and some other things and then it will spit out a number. And here's what the number generally in these retirement calculators is. It's the number, it's the amount you have to save to retire early. So I did one of these a couple of years ago and I don't remember all of the details right now, but I remember seeing the number that it said I would have to save to retire and it was so deflating. It was, it was a number that just felt insurmountable. Now I've got a little bit more time, even though it's creeping up on me, but let's say you're five years away from retirement and, and what you have saved right now and the number that it spits out, double. What if it's telling you some number that just feels unattainable? Well, then all of a sudden, your, your aspirations to retire early could really feel like uh, they can't happen. These retirement calculators, uh, they, could, they can be deflating. That's kind of what we learned in today's episode is that they don't really uh, give you a true picture either of your retirement. They could be a good start, 
but they're not the, the whole picture. The retirement calculators uh, don't have a lot of things included in them. A couple of things that aren't in these retirement calculators, uh, there, there's not your social security payment for a lot of people. That's 25 to 35% of their retirement income. That's what I've heard our retirement planners say. Uh, they don't talk about maybe um, taxes and, and, and what amount of the money that you've saved is taxable or what amount of the money that you're gonna save is not taxable. So there's a lot of holes in these retirement retirement calculators. So the takeaway for me today as I was hearing Lauren and Clint talk is uh, it's not as simple as a retirement calculator. Wouldn't we love it to be as simple as a retirement calculator? We'd love to be able to, to punch in some numbers and have a retirement calculator tell us, hey, yeah, you can retire early. But let's say you do a retirement calculator and you get numbers and you like what you see. Well, now what? So let's say it says you need to save a million and you've got about a million saved. So you're thinking, yeah, I can retire early. Well, now what? Now what do you do with the number that you've seen um, in the output from the calculator? Well, now you've got to figure out a plan to spend the money. You've got to figure out a plan to make the money last all the way through retirement. That's where I think it gets even trickier. So you maybe have decided that you do want to retire early, but how do you make it last? And that's where you put together the feelings and the numbers when you put together a plan, because the plan is going to show you how it lasts. You're not crossing your fingers and going, I think I can retire early. Let's do it, but let's not spend any money just to make sure. I mean, if you have it all written down, what the plan that the retirement planners here do, it shows you how much money you can spend each month. Month. It also doesn't just say you can only spend this amount and you can never buy a new car. I mean, it, it really outlines for you the, the whole plan for health care. Let's say you're not 65 and you want to retire. Well, you've got to have a health care plan of some sort. So maybe it's COBRA, maybe it's the, the open market, maybe you're on your spouse's plan. They, that's all written in too. Um, Social Security, maximizing that. Maybe you don't elect right away. Maybe you do elect right away. These are all of the things that our retirement planners help people do. And, and it's really valuable when you want to retire early because they help you make the most of all that money uh, that you've been saving. And maybe they can show you how you can retire early. That is one of the most powerful things I've also heard our retirement planners say is when uh, people, and I, actually I've talked to some of the families and individuals we worked with at, at some of our events, they will say, hey, I met with Sean and he showed us how we could retire an, a year earlier than we thought we could. And you should see their smiles. They are so excited about it. And these are people who thought they were going to work till 65 and now they're retiring at 64. So they're getting on that jet ski a little bit sooner than they thought, maybe getting that RV a little bit uh, quicker than they thought they were, and they're enjoying those go-go years of retirement. You can see what all goes into a comprehensive plan. I promise you, it's a lot more complicated than a calculator, but it is attainable. It is attainable for a comprehensive plan for you because uh, you'll have a guide in our retirement planners when you go to our online journey to retirement workshop. They'll show you what all goes into this. You'll take a journey to retirement through the eyes of John and Sue. They'll show you how they save money on taxes. They'll show you how they maximize social security and they'll show you what a comprehensive retirement plan looks like. Go to retirewithmerkle.com right now. You can sign up for a time and date that works for you and go on your journey to retirement.